Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Welcome, welcome Wage World. This video is all about being a product of your environment or what it means to be a product of your environment. Something that I feel like everyone should know and we should all understand. And I'm gonna give you a little antidote also. So make sure you guys like this video, make sure you guys drop me a comment and please do subscribe and turn on push notifications, post notifications so that you guys get alerted every single time I post a new one. First of all, welcome to my channel. My name is Japan. Activate Sonic Cannon. So, uh, a product of your environment. What, what does it mean to be a product of your environment? Uh, how can I break this down? Um, to be a product, everyone knows what a product is, right? And so to be a product of your environment, you are a creation of your environment. You are what your environment, everything that, that has been around you that has implemented into your life and has, has had influence on you is now resulting in who you are and what you are today. That's why you might have heard the phrase, show me your five closest friends and I'll show you who you are. Or, you know, hang around with four, four, four millionaires, chances are that you're gonna be the fifth. The reason why people say these things is because as we know, when you, when you, uh, you know, are around something, you can't help but that thing rub off on you. You have a little thing about your closest friends, about friends in which you might have had in the past, friends in which, you know, you might be friends with now. And the reason why you are you, the way you are, the phrases you might say, the way that you respond to certain things, the mentality that you might have, your friends probably share very similar or the same mentality, which is why you're friends. So you want to analyze that. You want to work out, are my friends and are, is the product that I'm a part of who I should be around or who I want to become because you are just going to be a byproduct of you know what is around you and so I think it's really key for us to acknowledge what we want to be around and then start to take in the information and take in um, the environment in which we want to be a part of because long and short of it is that we're gonna be that anyway okay so the main purpose of this video I actually wanted to just address you know some of you guys that might be struggling actually with you know uh, being a product of your environment and what do you do when you are in a situation where you are a product of your environment and you don't want to be that person but you love your friends or you love your family or whoever it is that maybe is you know shining negative light onto you or rubbing off you in the wrong way what you do is you do not surround yourself with those people I know this is harsh I know it's difficult but you have to make a decision guys you have to make a choice do I want to end up like this person or do I want to end up in the purpose and the pursuit in which I have for my life what God has for my life and you know the only way that you're going to do that is by surrounding yourself with the right types of energy and the right types of people I give you an analogy you must have heard everything that you need is within it's a phrase in which is said you know it's kind of almost sounds mythological um, because everyone's like what does that mean now I'm going to give you an analogy that an analogy sorry that's going to break that down for you guys and help you to understand what it means when someone says everything is within and this is also very very heavily hitting on the topic of you are a product of your environment so I want to take two seeds right seed a and seed b so now these seeds are exactly the same seeds right let's call it an apple seed it's an apple okay so there are two apple seeds apple a apple b I plant apple A in the ground, okay? When I plant apple A in the ground, I, get, I give it everything that it needs from the water to the sunlight to, you know, the love, the energy, the care, attention. Um, and I do not neglect this seed once I've planted it. Every day I come up to it and I tell it how much I love it, how much I, I, I want it to grow and I water it daily and I, you know, make sure that it's in the right place of my garden to receive the amount of sun in which it needs to thrive and for that apple tree to bear and grow fruit, okay? So now I want you to take seed B. Seed B is in a position where it is exactly the same as seed A. The difference is I get a little bit of soil and I put it in a cup and I put that cup in a box, a complete black box, and I lock it away and I don't visit that seed forever, okay? I come back in a month's time, in two months time, in three months time. I then look at both seeds. Seed A that I planted in a great environment with the sun, with you know love attention water and daily affirmations in which tell this flower that it's going to grow beautifully then i go to seed b where i've given it no sunlight um you know no water i've given it um no love and attention and every day i walk up to it and i say you're not going to grow okay 
So now if I take these two seeds and I come back in three months time, seed A has now grown into a beautiful apple tree and seed B is like essentially just stinking up my, my um, stinking up my room because I've got it in this room in my house, just kind of pitch black surrounded. Now I'm like, why has this seed B not grown into the fruit that is bared on seed A? The reason why this fruit hasn't is because the environment in which it was put in, although the seeds are exactly the same. The environment that those seeds are put in are two completely different environments. So now imagine seed A is a loving family with loving friends and energy and people that are telling you that you can do whatever it is that you can that you want to do, anything that you put your mind to you can achieve. And seed B is that same situation, that same person, but they have really negative parents saying to them, you know, uh, you can't do whatever it is that you want to do. You're never going to make it in life. Their friends are constantly putting them down and they're always locking themselves in a room, never networking, never finding new friends. Those are the two different versions, you know, seed A, seed B, person A, person B. The seeds are exactly the same. The only difference is the environment, okay? So the product is the same, but the environment is different for seed A and seed B. Now relate that to your life. What seed are you? Are you seed A or are you seed B? If you're seed A, great. More love, more attention, more energy. But if you're seed B, then you want to start looking at how you can adapt your life in order to put yourself in the environment that's going to allow you to flourish in the same way that seed A is able to flourish. Okay? So that analogy really helped me to kind of identify when people used to say everything that you need is within. And now I get it. Everything that that seed needed to grow into a beautiful apple tree was inside the seed, in both seeds. But the difference was where that seed was planted. Where are you planting your seed? Guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave it a like if you enjoyed it. Comment below, let me know where you're planting your seed, where your environment is, what product you are, and um, you know, what your environment is. Let's open a conversation, let's open a dialogue, let's start talking, and um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, post notifications on, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.